ready to come down. There was a repair job that was done. Right, nerd? Yeah. So what are you doing? Well, that back panel, I think, had a leak in that corner, which I've since repaired. You can kind of see the stain. Yeah, you can see the stain good on video. Yeah. So I think in that corner, there was some water that leaked in, and it must have leaked in before because the fabric right here is different than this 35 year old fabric that they use which is almost like it's almost like, it's like fiberglass or something yeah, or fiberglass sure fabric. this was fabric and obviously they didn't uh repair the leak so it ruined the fabric so we're going to take this center panel out which looks like they separated it maybe they didn't <coughs> actually they just added fabric right here and then they put a board over it huh and this is nailed in in some spots yeah, so actually, we're going to see all they did actually was they put some fabric up. Huh. So we're going to see what's under here. Yeah. I mystery. thought we were just going to be able to take this back piece out, but it doesn't look like it. Uh-oh. No, it is. It's a separate piece. Is it? Yeah. You can see it over here. Right there. Separate piece of wood. Hmm. All right, so, so this rail's coming down now. Yes. Is that one screw left? Yep, yeah, two screws. You got that side? Yep. Yeah. Ooh. Alright, All right, let's bring this out. I love taking some of this stuff apart. It's like looking back in time. I know. 35, 37 years ago. One short and the other? Yeah. Why is that? Uh, because the sides are not exactly the same. This one's got the kitchen in it. That's interesting. And it's still halfway decent in most spots. Some wear marks over here. Now we gotta get this panel down. Hopefully it's not rotten. Take it home, recover it. Let's see what's under there. Let's see what's going on. We might have to cut a new piece of wood if it's rotten. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do? Rip this out all the way to, uh, the, no, to the seam? Well, I don't know. We might. I guess we might have to. I think we should get rid of this. The thing is, there's foam under it. As, as you take the uh, fabric down, the foam's all old and cruddy and it's going to get everywhere but I've got crap and sawdust and everything else in here already. It's okay. So It's a working boat. Yeah, I just I can't see what we're doing without taking that down. So Is it stapled in there? Yeah. It's got some staples. So. Yeah. They're kind of actually some, rusty. Yeah, they use non-stainless steel staples. Which is probably a good thing. We're so the old this. original <clears throat> headliner was put in with stainless steel nails that are perfect yeah. everywhere and then the repair which who knows how long ago that was probably not that long ago was put in with crappy staples that are already rusting mm. I found that the hardware in this thing is from the original manufacturers is top-notch this is just a quick fix this was a quick fix yeah. now we're gonna do a better fix because there's there used to be that's what the original stuff looked like had like the a lamp? little bit of orange in it that's where the original like oil lamp was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to figure out what we need to do. I guess if we were gonna recover the whole thing, now would be the time to do it. But I need to take this crap off. Yeah. Here, so let's, All right. let's do that. Will we film this? No. Why not? Um. Okay. <laughs> hey. We're we're working we're working on the boat and this is reality. Yes it is. This is real reality. Let's see. And this is the first time you've ever have you ever changed a headliner in a car? Um in an airplane. Oh did you? Yeah. Was it cruddy like this? No. It's, it's under there. Ooh. Close your mouth. I should probably wear a mask. You probably should. 
<laughs> one one thing these masks are good for. I used to use them mowing the lawn or welding or something, but now there's tons of them. Ready? Yeah. Ooh. Let me just go down one side. Let me get behind just so I can see it. Okay. see where some of this uh, water intrusion got in here. Yeah. It's very thin in some spots. It's kind of crunchy too actually. So. Well if anything we'll take this old board off and use it as a template. Mm -hmm. We can always get more foam. Yeah, I'm not too worried about the foam. Nah. Ugh. Ugh. Mm. So. so I need to take this board down so we can evaluate. Regular steel screws. Stainless steel? No, that's why they're all rusted. Huh. Hmm. I'm almost afraid to see what's underneath it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, oh, there's already some crunchy, crunchy in there. Yeah. Well, uh, there's definitely gonna be some. There's gonna be some crunch. This up too, Oof. which is, is yeah. That's the deck right there. They just they just kind of left this, I guess. You see, I have this stuff that, like for this, you just paint this epoxy on it. It, it absorbs it and it binds it good enough. Some of this stuff could just be pulled out. It's not doing anything. This right here, they, they must have put up. This is on fiberglass? Probably. I don't know. Look at how they cut this. Yeah. This is thick right here. Yeah. Wow. So this went all the way and then it got like solid. I think this was part of a repair. You could take that piece of wood out too. So. What's going on, nerd? So, they obviously secured this piece of wood up there, which actually, I guess it was probably pressure treated. It's still green in some spots, so it's actually held up and it's fairly strong. However, they still didn't use any stainless screws, so they're a little rusted. Because, don't forget. Don't forget. Don't forget. <laughs> obviously, this leaked caused damage. They did a repair, didn't really fix the leak, and so some of this is now mm -hmm. broken. Um, we used to have a mast. Yeah, I used to have a mast and they took it out and it might have had a leak. 
maybe that's uh, why. The mast is yeah. missing point too, but overall, I mean, you can see where the the damage is, which is around the edges. And, uh, so we'll probably dig some of this stuff out. It's the original, whatever. Yeah, uh, we'll probably dig some of this out, and then like, there's different ways to. Uh, get something. I mean, this piece is still secure. I'm going to coat this with that. Uh, I'm almost afraid if we start digging this out, if it's going to make this loosen up where there's nails. Well, I think that's just some kind of strip. I don't I don't know if this is really structural. That's not the... Because this piece is still attached somewhere. So the, the rail, I guess, was attached here. Yeah. Maybe the rail used to be attached here. And they just well, kind of moved it some in. Some of it is. You think so? Yeah. 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 I don't know. I mean, we can dig that out, like, back here, and then resecure a strip up there with even, like, 5200. Make it strong. Yeah. yeah. What you doing, nerd? Oh, repairing some, repairing the headliner, but in repairing the headliner, which was damaged because of previous leaks, we have these old uh, points where the headliner was tied into. On this side, everything's still nice and strong. Um, there was a piece of wood that was rotted that ran along here. This is the same piece of wood, but kind of cut it right here um, this is still solid over here on this side everything was rotted so we cut it out to back here which this piece is still semi good and it's strong enough so we're going to attach a piece of wood to this stringer but this stringer is soft in some spots really it's just this middle piece right here this side right here it's still pretty strong in most areas, when I drilled holes in there, it actually gets good wood. But in some sections, it is a little bit like delaminated from the wood. But the wood up there, for some reason, is still good. I don't know how it delaminated with still good wood. But this side right here, the wood is not good. Uh, it's still there. It's not completely rotten, but it's mostly rotten. And this side, it's actually very solid wood, but again, delaminated. For some reason, I don't know if it was the build process or... They didn't coat the wood or whatever reason the wood did um, like that wood right there it's dead strong but the fiberglass is delaminated from it right so the perfect perfect not so perfect actually there's like two layers in this so some of that is not bad that's rotten right there. So you drilled all those holes in yeah, there? Yeah, I drilled all these holes. So okay. we're just, instead of ripping all this apart, it used to have a mast right here. But the mast has been taken down, so it, it doesn't have to support the weight it used to. It just has to support our weight. So I'm going to inject thickened epoxy into this cavity and whatever I can get in these cavities as well. But these are still strong. Mm -hmm. So really, this is just to support the headliner. It's probably probably don't even need to do this but uh, this makes it stronger makes it stronger and once once this is filled we'll get another piece of wood to go from here to there and from here to there and it will be put on with I'm going to coat the wood with the uh, two-part epoxy that is thinned to absorb into the wood so that the piece of wood that we put there should last a long time and it should also be structurally stronger but when we put the piece of wood on there um, it's going to be coated and secured with 5200 to strengthen this area just a little bit more. What are you using? Oh, I am going to use, uh, well, I have Total Boats epoxy resin. Can I show it? Yeah. Two part epoxy resin mm -hmm. right here, hardener. And then some filler. We're going to mix peanut butter. So you're going to take some of that and mix it in a cup? Mix it in a cup, and then we're going to put it in here. Mm -hmm. There's my little plunger. There it is. Right there. And once you get this filled up, put that in there. 
and it goes in this gun right here. Pump? Yeah, just an air pump okay. and an air hose. How strong is that pump? It's uh, there's no tank to it, so it's not very strong. But I don't need a lot of flow mm -hmm. to make this gun work. So, so what? It's the, air pressure. Yeah, the air that's kind of compressed in the line is enough to make this work okay. perfectly. So now I'm going to mix up some stuff and then we'll and show then it. Inject it in there. Once it's injected and I get flow from each subsequent hole. I'll fill whatever else I can, and then uh, let that dry. We'll come back, uh, get some wood, cut it to length, coat it. When we come back, we'll screw that piece of wood with 5200 up here, um, and then we can start resecuring the headliner, uh, the new headliner. We'll have to get a new piece of wood here, and then a new uh, like uh, like Luan or whatever that. that wood is that we put the actual headliner on. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how that goes. And then we're gonna we're actually gonna cover this too with something else. I'm not sure. Now that we got it open, um, we're gonna figure out what we want to cover it with, whether it's I don't think we're gonna use fabric. Um, they have all kinds of stuff but we're open to any ideas. Yeah. And uh, but I want some kind of modern material that doesn't absorb water, it doesn't stain not exactly sure what that's going to be, but there should be something that works good. Mm -hmm. This headliner is 37 years old. Yep. And I, I you know, it's, it's held up fairly well. It's dingy, so um, it's ready for an upgrade. Yeah, so and these are the wires to the mast. Yeah, that was right? the wires to the mast. Yeah. So I'm going to mm -hmm. also try to see if I can, before I close it up, see what breakers those are controlled by or what switches those are controlled by. See if I can use them. So we're going to mix up the epoxy? We're going to mix up the epoxy now. Yeah, and, and then we'll show yeah. how it works. Yep. Okay. Here we go. So I'm using Total Boat, basically because the guy from Boat Works today said it's good. And he seems to know what the hell he's talking about. So. <laughs> so and these, are, these pumps are uh, equal pumps. I think it's six to one, five to one it says. Let's see what this. Yeah. Epoxy resin. Yeah. So you do five pumps of this, then you need five pumps of the other stuff. These tubes are, how many pumps was that? I think that was three. Uh oh. Yeah, that's <laughs> four. Five. This is an eight ounce tube. And uh, we're going to thicken it quite a bit. I'm going to do a little bit more. Okay. So this is six, right? Yes. So, in here, I found a good use for the spoons that came with the uh, boat. <laughs> How much of that are you putting in there? Until I get the consistency that I want. Which is what? Peanut butter. The peanut butter? Yeah. So just add a little bit, mix it. takes a little bit to get it in the mix. It's looking peanut buttery. Mm -hmm. Now we got to get it in here. Alright, how do you do that? Just start shoving it in there. Yeah. How much time do you have before it hardens? 
Depends on the outside temperature and not much. I think the working time is maybe 10 or 15 minutes. If you're in the sun, I mean, you gotta move fast. on there. Clean this off with a gun. Okay. Goes in here. Goes in there. Goes in there. Tighten this down. we can reuse this too. Wow, more. so you put all that in there just like that? Yeah. Damn, so it, took, so it like spread out like crazy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You gotta, so you gotta throw that away? Well, I'll never clean that tip out, but if I can get this thing out. Oh. You want another tip? Here's one. That's crazy. How quickly that went in there. So we had to mix up another batch. We'll probably have to mix up at least three or four or five batches. So cool. I'm having a hard time getting the phone on there. Can you see that?
Yeah. Okay, plenty of help. Ready? Yeah. This was already solid, huh? It's warm. Oh yeah, it's, it's a little warm. It'll be all right. All right, let me clean this one out. All right. So it took about. Okay. So we made some progress. We pulled down. The old cruddy headliner that had a stain all the way back here. You know, stained because we had leaks, but the leaks have been fixed, so now we have to do this. That was before we got the boat. Yeah, that was all before, and this was repaired before we got the boat too. So when we took it down, we knew that here's where the mast was. These old fittings right here, um, and this was the source of a leak that had been previously repaired, also. Um, but this piece right here was rotten. That's where some of the headliner um, pieces were attached to. And also the grab rail that was here was screwed into here and it no longer held anything. So the screws over here just didn't hold it and there's nothing there to hold the screws. So this back part of the uh, grab rail was always kind of falling down a little bit and you couldn't put any weight on it. So, 
we took all this stuff down, removed all the rotted wood that was here, found that some of these, uh, um, the wood that was up here when they built it, because this was obviously pieces of wood that they fiberglassed over to use for mounting points. So some of these were rotten and delaminating. So we took uh, our epoxy gun, actually it's a sealant gun, but I just filled it with epoxy, and we pumped epoxy up in here and now it's much much stronger there's still a couple spots that are not completely full but generally speaking it's uh, much 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 stronger than it was and you can see these things fill this I mean this thing was just you know just like this is still just a little bit soft right here maybe I, I mean I can I can still pump a little bit more, but most of it is pretty strong where the rails go. So, and I can also change the position of the screw holes on the handrails, fill the old ones with the bugs. So it should attach good, and then we have to put a new uh, piece of wood up here, and then some a thin layer of veneer up there that we're going to attach the headliner to, and we're going to put new headliner here, a new headliner there, a new headliner there. And then repair this window, this old leaky trawler window, which is amazing. They built, there's not much of a track, it's just this little track. And they basically put this track in there and then they build the windows around this track in the window out of wood. So there is nothing holding this together except the wood basically and the track and sealant and you know, it's not what you would think. But it opens now. It opens now and it doesn't leak. And all I did was, there's a drain hole that's supposed to go right here. And so for now, you know, I'm going to have to replace these windows. But basically I pumped a ton of 5200 in there, took a piece of plastic, put it over there, and then slammed the window shut. And then I had to fill in some more down here with 5200 and then make sure that that hole was good. So now if you dump water on the outside, it comes in the channel, doesn't no longer goes inside here, and just drains out that. I gotta clear that hole out a little bit more. So these windows have to be cleaned and everything else. Uh, and there's an inner trim ring that I have at home that has bug screens in there, which I'm redoing. And uh, so that's what we're doing. That's what we did today, and that's what we got to do next. Yep. So. In the next video, we will finish this up, put the headliner in, finish these trim pieces, and put the screen on. Yeah. And then it's painting the exterior of the boat and doing the exterior wood. And, and doing the kitchen counters. And the kitchen counter. This, this is the original kitchen counter. It's obviously old Formica. Yeah. But the structure underneath is fine. Just this Formica is all busted up. So I'm not sure what we're going to do here. We're going to use some kind of modern material. We're open to any suggestions. Open to suggestions. It's not going to be too fancy or too expensive. I don't know if we're going to, unless I find some Corian scraps that happen to fit. We're not going to be purchasing or custom making Corian uh, for this. So we'll see what we got. Yep. And a lot of little things here and there. But the big things is to make it leak proof and uh, make it semi presentable mm -hmm. on the major things. And then we'll work on a lot more of the little things. So, Don't forget it. to like and subscribe to stay up to date to our future projects. Yeah, like and subscribe. <laughs>